Hey, what's up, Briefers? So you notice everything is kind of close up right now. That is because I just turned on the light and the tank has been off for like hours. So this is what my corals look like when they sleep as well as my fish. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to finally frag up the frog spine a little bit, trim it back a little bit. So I want to kind of see a skeleton structure. It's kind of difficult to see the structure when it's all inflated during the, during the day, well, the tank's day. So let me just do a quick walk around. Yeah, it's already starting to inflate a little bit. And the frog spine structure is actually composed of two separate economies. On the left hand side, the larger, larger portion, that's the green tip. And to the right, between the rose purple tip anemone and the green tip frog spine, is the purple tip frog spine. And the purple tip frog spine just, is just kind of sitting almost on top of the green tip in terms of placement, or oh, skeleton placement. So I think in this case, the purple tip is fine. I do not need to frag it back. But the green tip is growing a little bit out of control. All right guys, so this is my mother colony for uh, the green tip frog spawn. In my tank, there's the uh, purple tip and also three or four heads of the green tip that kind of broke off naturally, so that's fine. So really quickly, I'm just kind of assessing, trying to remember what I want to cut. Um, so I definitely want to cut this portion out so the green, uh, the purple tip can kind of fit in here without blocking any of the heads. And also I remember I want to cut some of this lower part out, this right here, because it was already being blocked because it's like sitting right here. It's already being shaded by the top. So that eventually it's just going to waste away. So I'm going to cut this off and place it next to it. So let's see. Let's do this quick. Um... I think right here would be a good cut. And normally I use a um, screwdriver, flathead screwdriver and hammer. It works, but then the brick is not consistent. Like you, it's really hard to tell where it's gonna break unless you're really careful. And I have cases where I actually broken up the entire colony and I, I was like kicking myself. So this time I'm gonna use a Dremel tool. It's a little bit, more dangerous because you gotta watch your finger, you gotta be more careful, but then usually the result is a much more predictable cut. So I'm just, I'm just double checking one more time, make sure I'm cutting the right branch. I think I'm trying to cut this guy right here. That's about a four head and this guy. So these two branches, I'm gonna make two frags. And if I cut the wrong one, it's not a big deal simply because they're branching. So when you put them next to each other, people can't even tell they're not the same colony. All right, so with the Dremel, of course, you gotta be careful and make sure I got a good grip. And I don't wanna cut any finger. And make sure you, I'm gonna hold this really tight. Normally I'll lock this down, but this is not, not a convenient place, so. All right, let's see, let's do, let's do this one first. There you go. <laughs> and yeah, make sure you don't talk. <laughs> Why are you cutting this? This shit is spraying in your mouth. And then we'll cut this branch. This one is a lot smaller. So that should be okay. Now, and I like to, I like to leave a longer stem so it's easy to kind of stick into crevices. So make sure, make sure finger is clear. And things are locked down. Belly a little bit, I'll cut here. So you want to kind of work around. You don't want to just keep going in. You want to work around the circumference and slowly kind of chip into it. 
And again, always make sure your fingers are in the clear in case this thing kind of slips. And it's vibrating hard because I'm pressing against the counter. There you go. And we are good to go. All right, so we kind of trimmed down the main colony a little bit. I'm gonna get them back in the water. And we got two decent sized frags. One is about four and a half heads. The other one, let's see, about three and a half heads. So I'm gonna pop that in, make the, let them uh, rest a little bit and I'll do a update video. So the frog spawn colony as well as the new frags had a chance to kind of get acclimated to the tank again. It had been about five or six hours and all of them seems to be doing really well because they just took over the center column rock. So I guess before most of these polyps were facing up but now that I kind of spread them out all over the rock work they really have a have the opportunity to expand and man they just kind of took over. I didn't even realize how many heads I had until I kind of broke it apart and then spaced them out. It looks kind of nuts. So it looks like one huge colony, but it's actually, let me see. So that's the main green tip mother colony. Uh, that's uh, about five heads of the purple tip green. And up here, there's like three or four heads of a uh, purple tip green as well. And I, I know that in the back, there's about three and a half heads of the green tip. Up here, there's like four heads of green tip as well. So it's like a collection of different branch frog spawn uh, combining to make this like super structure. But uh, now that I kind of moved them apart, because they have even more room to, to kind of spread out and expand, and they just kind of took up that room. And it just looks like a huge, cl huge clump. So I guess I'll be selling uh, some of the heads off to make room. Because right now is not a really clean look. Let me just kind of walk around a little bit so you get a better idea. But um, I'm happy that all the heads are doing well after the fragging. Did not lose any head, so that's good. And usually frog spines are uh, really... The branching type of frog spine is really easy to frag, so... Things are doing well. And just as a sneak peek to my tank update, the sand somehow cleared itself out. Um, there's all these great things I was gonna do, but before I even got a chance to do it, all the algae just kinda got cleaned out from the sand. I'm not quite sure what happened, uh, but I'll take that. And you notice that I moved, I moved some of the corals around to make room. Uh, they're not perfect yet, I'm still kind of tweaking, but I don't want to do too much all at once. So I'll go over all the changes a little bit later. And you also notice that the blue tank is not in the tank right now. And the reason being is that when I was pulling the frog spine colony out, sure enough, the blue tank was kind of sleeping among the branches, so the fish came right out. And I just used the opportunity to kind of net him and then kind of kept him in the sump. So right now it's kind of staying in the sump with the in the refugium, and I'm trying to decide what to do. Do I throw him back into the display tank, knowing that I got to pull him out again in a month or two, or do I just use this chance to kind of drop him off at a larger tank? On the fence right now, I'm gonna think about it. I mean, it is happily in the uh, in the sump right now, so no rush. All right, well, I'm um, gonna end this video right here, and I guess I'll be posting up a sales spread in the local Reef Club form real soon for the frog spawn heads. Talk to you guys later.